Hey guys and welcome back. Super interesting tutorial today. Um, how you could assign different color codes to variables and then use that in your dashboard. I mean, it's going to really elevate your dashboard game. You know that color schemes using the right palette can really elevate your ClickSense dashboard game. So there are a bunch of sites, right, that you could use to get uh, complementary colors and colors that actually really go well with one another to really show the difference in the data. So this is just one. I want to show you how you could actually utilize this, uh, assign them to variables and then call them later on. So let's see how that's done. I'm going to take a simple example here. I'm just going to take one. Um, this is mine. So I'm going to copy my code and then I'm going to go here and I'm going to create a variable called let color red is and then I'm going to paste the color code here. So now I've assigned the color code to this variable and every time I call the variable, the color code has been called. So let's get some more, right? Great. So now I've assigned different color codes that are kind of matching that I want to call in my front end and I've assigned them to variables. Great. Now let's just load it first of all, of course, otherwise your variable isn't going to be loaded. And then let's go to the front end. I'm going to call a simple little bar chart. I mean, why not, right? Uh, let's just say countries and let's add sales as our dimension. And you know how to change the colors. That is what we're going to do is we're going to go in here. Um, we're going to look at, we're going to go into appearance. We're going to go into color, switch the automatic off. And here we're going to go into expression. And in expression, now we're going to say a simple little statement that is if sum of sales greater than 800,000, then, and how do you call in a variable? If you've taken my course, you would know, first of all, dollar expansion, and then you put in the variable name. Great. What happens if it doesn't match it? Well, in that case, I want to say color three, close it, apply. And you automatically have your custom color in your dashboard now. Pretty cool, right? So you don't need to use the boring colors that come with ClickSense. Instead, you could have an infinite amount of colors that you could choose from. There are a bunch of websites. Go check them out. Go crazy. There's a super simple way to incorporate different colors into your dashboard. Hope you really liked it. Please leave a like and check out the links in the description below. Have a good one. Peace.